Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. This time I got a special guest, Tristan of Nerdette's Newsstand. I really, really don't like being called the noob when it comes to comic books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's more of the definition that you don't know this book I'm talking about. That's true. That's true. Because, yeah. Fuck yeah, the that's what the Ninja noob Turtles. is. That, if the noob falls under what your def what again, if you don't know the book, then you're a noob to the book. You don't have to be a noob to comics. And to be fair, I don't, I don't, I've heard good things about this. I'm just mm -hmm. not a big Turtles person. Yeah, but this is kind of a follow up to uh, when we did for my birthday for that's um, true. That's Batman true. DMNT. We always like, hey, we can go over this when it's done. If the final issue came out a while ago, so it's like better late than never. That's very true. So yeah, I mean, what if besides the good things you've heard, what's the general thing you've heard about this book? That it's like the Dark Knight Returns for the Turtles. Pretty much, pretty much. The, the, the backstory behind this was Eastman and Laird, the creators of the Turtles, had this idea sitting around for a long time. Just the plot. They didn't have many artwork or anything, just the main plot. And then while looking Snoop going around through some stuff, they eventually found it. And Tom Waltz, the guy who's been writing the, the IDW Turtles comic for so long, decided, hey, why don't we actually make this? So they got Laird's blessing to do it, and that's what they started. Now, it's not the exact story that they did all those years ago, but it's as close as it's ever going to get. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, now the opening bit, we had, they, they, it's a nod to the old turtle, like where they had only one color bandana, red. So the yeah. whole point is that we don't know which turtle this is at first. But I kind of heard spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> now there was another artist Wait, I don't who's the name. artist oh the artist is layouts by kevin eastman with pencil and ink by isau and isaac escorza okay. was one Never heard issue, of him. yep was one page done by um ben bishop okay yep there was another artist i forget his name and he did a couple of pages they even had previews for it but something led to it where they couldn't keep using him and they redid the whole book gotcha yep but yeah, it opens up with, I won't say which one it is, but the you know the last turtle is coming up onto New York, which is a police state now. And just look at that. That's a really, it, it almost, at first when I seen it, I thought it looked like it was in the guitar shape. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like it a it little. It looks amazing though. Yeah, but you see like the brick walls and everything. Basically the Foot Clan has taken over and they own the city. Ah, okay. So it's the Foot Clan. I'm not Trump. I see that wall. <laughs> Again, this thing has been in planning for ages. So any type of politics. I know. Or... I'm kidding. I know. But yeah, I mean, now, one other thing we later find out about this turtle is that the older a turtle gets, they actually will mutate further. Into more turtle-like? No, more into more tougher and beefier, bigger. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. And, of course, he's haunted by his brothers, of course. Right. Yeah, but, um, yeah, we see all these other people here. We see a girl named Jones. We'll find out who she is later. But, um, yeah, basically the whole this whole opening issue is setting up this new New York and having the last turtle try to make his way in. And, yeah, it's his typical stuff. Like, he's also talking with himself. He thinks he's talking with his brothers. Wow, that was graceful. Worked, didn't it? Check out those cables. We hack in. We might be able to download a map of this level. No time. Plus, don't let your eyes get fooled by all those tubes and cables. Because the noise and the nose knows the truth. Basically, yeah, you could take the turtle out of the sewer, but you can't take the sewer out of the turtle. Oh, my What's gosh. That even mean? That's <laughs> <laughs> but he comes around right in the middle of the street and, uh-oh, the RoboCops. But using some smoke, you know, smoke grenades, he's able to get out. And does that thing look like Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe? Kind of, yeah, it does. <laughs> I think that's done as an intentional nod. But, yeah, showing that this turtle still got it. He's, make, he's continuing to make his way inward. Yeah, much like in any other version of the turtles, dealing with robots, <laughs> or at least these basic drones, easy to handle. Even one turtle can handle them. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Again, it's I just, love the art. 
yeah, the artwork is so good. And the setting just really helped. And the funny thing, though, when you look at the buildings, they're so simplistic. Yeah, but it actually works to their benefit because then it, it you can see the foreground better. Exactly. And it doesn't clash too much with the more detailed characters. Right, exactly. Yep. Now we're then introduced to Oroku Hiroto, which is actually the... Um, he looks like the dude that plays in Star Wars. Which one? I don't know. The guy with long hair. I think he was Darth Vader or something. Mm, that would be David Prowse, who was the suit actor. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. You mean um, um, Hayden Christensen? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who it is. The guy with the guy that kissed Ray. Oh, that's Kylo Ren. He Isn't does that... look like him, and that and that's that's not Darth Vader. It's Although, not Darth Vader. Enough... I don't fucking know anything about Star Wars. Yeah, that's Kylo Ren. But funny thing. Funny you say that because given how that's the, that was Vader's grandson here, this um Hirodo Hirodo, that he's the Shredder's grandson. Oh, okay. So that so we're keeping it familiar. Got it. Yep. And he's been the one in charge of everything. Uh, um, so yeah, you have the last Oroku, as in Oroku Saki, that was Shredder, against uh-huh. the last Hamato. Meaning the last turtle, the Hamato, or yeah, Hamato Yoshi. Gotcha. Okay, where's the rat? Oh, they're dead. Oh, that sucks. They're all. Everyone, even Splinter, is dead. Oh, that sucks. I like all these the of rat. the turtles of of his family right. is dead. There are still others that are alive, but not the turtles. But yeah, he makes his way in, and everything just still singing himself. Very Dark Knight Returns, like, with these inner monologues. Yeah. God, it's really well-colored, too. Definitely. Definitely. And, of course, um, Hirodo is, like, he's ordering everyone, you know, get over there, stop them. A mutant turtle. I want all available foot to the the tower now. Exterminate that plastic thing. Because, yeah, he wants the last turtle dead. So are those like robots or they're not like real people in the suit? Yeah, all of these are robots. There's okay. no people here. Um, oh, the mouse, flying mousers with lasers. The mousers were best known for being created by Baxter Stockman in almost all versions, but especially the, 90, the 80s cartoon. The little robots with giant jaws. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trust you no, on it. All right. Oh, but yeah, he's like, uh, no, not like this. Not after I've come so close. Falling. Failing. Ugh. In other words, after all that climb, he's back at ground level back again. At, uh-huh. Who's this girl in the purple? We've seen her before. Yeah, well, you'll find out more. But right now, we don't know who she is yet. But he's bleeding out. And he makes his way down there. Now, we also find out that Hiroto's uh, mother, Karai, uh, okay. she is in a coma. She's been in okay. a coma for uh, for the longest time, and the way he feels it, he blames her for abandoning him, for leaving him behind, and that's why... What? Yeah. So, so what she an entitled handle... little brat. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing. She abandoned him so she can take care of the Foot Clan, but then that brought all to her being put in a coma, so he decided, I'll take over the Foot Clan and prove I'm better than you and Grandfather. So does he want? Is he trying to like heal her, or no, is he just keeping he's just her body? Keeping her in the coma. Even if he doesn't even want her to wake up. <laughs> what a dick. Yep, exactly. Or if he does wake her up, it's the final gloat that I killed the last turtle. That I've done all this. Gotcha. So complete asshole. All right, got it. Yep. But yeah, the last turtle's down there, and he feels like he failed. So what uh-huh. does he do? Lays out all of the weapons, and he just simply says, I miss my brothers, and I miss Father. More than anything else, I wanted to make him proud. And he's ready to commit seppuku. Suicide? Yep. Aw, that's so sad. Yep, and then the girl finds the purple girl. Yep. No way, you're a mutant turtle. And this is where we get different artists. This is him. 
the turtle, basically, whichever one it is, he's waking up and he's having a hallucination with his um, brothers. Because for basically a brief moment, he's reunited with them because he's almost dead. But then we wake up, there's April, a much uh-huh. older April. And we find out it's Michelangelo's The Last Turtle. I knew that, but I didn't know April was alive still. Yeah, she is. Aww. Yep. But I just love it how, again, throughout all this, we had no idea which turtle it was. That's, uh, well, what are we at? The end of the second issue? The no, first issue still. Wow. So they did it. They, they revealed it in the first issue. Okay. I thought it was the second. Nope. Nope. It was the first. Although this cover throws you off. You think it's Raph. Right. Well, to be fair, this image is Raph in this context of the story, but he's not, obviously that's not the last Rodent, obviously. Right. And Michelangelo was always the one that was kind of like snarky, the youngest, right? Yeah, the youngest, the party dude. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, the always always sure. guy who loves eating pizza and everything. That turtle. Gotcha. But yeah, to have a bit, it makes sense though when you think about it. Having it be Raph or Leo would have made too much sense. Donnie, uh, maybe not. But having it be Mikey, the guy you normally would never think about, but seeing how far he's gotten, it makes the most logical narrative sense. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can agree to that. Oh, uh, yeah, we poor April's up. old as fuck. <laughs> yeah, she is. But I also love it as well, if you notice, there's no definite set of time. None. Right. Now, at this point, she's been married to Casey Jones. Aww. Yeah, you know, the guy with the hockey mask and all that? Yep, I know who it is. Yep. But, yeah, they're running in and everything. Make a haul. In- incoming. Basically, they feel like they've been ambushed. Basically, what happened was... Karai was trying to do a claim to make a peace treaty. It ended up being an ambush. Well, that's not good. Yep. But Wait, yeah, did you the flashback? Yeah, it's a flashback. Okay, that makes sense. So she's, well, more like she's having a nightmare. But yeah, she wakes okay, up. Okay, so Casey's dead, I'm assuming? Not yet. Oh, not yet. Wait. You, well, so you oh, just... Okay, in the present day, yes. Okay, all right. In the past, yeah, yeah. not yet. But yeah, they're, and they basically say, you know, like, where do we start? They're all caught in um, shock. But yeah, large strike team jumped us. Now, because we now know which turtle's which, we can bring back the multicolored bandanas. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. But yeah, basically, they, and um, of course, Casey feel like, you know, like this, uh, they've crossed the line. We're going to go after them. Oh, now, shit. you think he's um, he's dead or he's going to die. And where's Raph? What do you think Raph did? He ran off. Now, also, um, April, if you know, she's missing an arm. I was just going to say she's got a prosthetic arm. I Oh, I didn't even notice the and leg. leg. Yeah, and leg. Yeah. Um, hey, Casey. Little help here. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I can't see. No, no, well. that's her leg. It's right by Casey's mask. Oh, okay. Aww. So she's being a smart, so she's being a little smart ass. Like, oh, hey, Casey. That- Little healthier. Wait, how did her leg get all the way over there to begin with? Um, she's throwing. Oh no, I think is a case where when she was putting it on, it kind of, it probably um didn't connect all the way on and fell and just rolled. Oh, okay. So, you know, like you put it on your leg, but then it fell off, and it was like good doom, gotcha. good doom. Yep, exactly. But yeah, so now we're seeing Mikey talking with, again, the ghost of his brothers. Oh, that's so freaking sad. It is. And he feels like it's not enough that, you know, I'm a stupid fool. <laughs> yep. And like, you know what my mission was in the tower? A one-way ticket from the start. For our fa- father, for our family, for our honor. <sighs> At least Look, they got I sh- coffee. Yep, or tea. I think it's tea. Ugh, gay then. Hey, hey, hey. They're t- <laughs> Given their upbringing and everything, I think it makes sense. I know. But yeah, basically, like, what we finished what we started. What Master Splinter raised us to do. The last Oroku must die. But here's the flashback to Raph. He's basically going out for blood. He wants to take Karai down. And then Electra joins? No, that's Karai. Oh, okay. But yeah, then he's just fighting his way through, killing everyone until because he wants her dead. And Wait, so, do the turtles? I don't. And just because I don't know, do the turtles kill? Yes. 
Okay. In, in most ver in most versions that don't have censorship to worry about, the turtles do kill. Okay, that's, that's I was just curious. I don't care. I just was curious. Oh no, I understand. Yeah, so long. But yeah, he said you ambushed my family, killed my father again. He, Splinter's not dead yet, but he basically sinks it. Right. Yeah. Only one way this ends. So stop hiding behind Ooh, these scrubs, and we'll finish this once and for all. Yes, we will. Oh, but yeah, a great fight. But that's it great, ends. but she does look just like Electra. She does. She does. I think it's because of they're using red because of this Raft's flashback, and obviously the mm -hmm. red on top of whatever color Karai's wearing really makes it look like Electra. Oh yeah. Which is ironic because Raph is using styes, which is Electra's weapon. Right. That's funny. But yep, they fall down there and Karai kills him, but at the same time, Raph is the one that put her in the coma. Oh, okay. So it's like oh. a double edged sword. Wow, that's so good. It is, but it, it makes sense. This is how Raph goes out. His hot headed tendencies finally mm -hmm. does him in. But yeah, we finally have April like, Michelangelo, what the heck are you doing? You should be resting. Couldn't sleep, so I made some tea. Hope that's okay. Of course it is. This was your kitchen way before I moved in. And sorry, just got worried when I didn't find you in bed. The tea's fr uh, from when you you lived here. Hope it's still good. <laughs> Honestly, best cup of tea I've had in a long time. Aww. But yeah, says, I run on high octane. Basically, you know, energy drinks. <laughs> Sometimes there's just not enough caffeine in the world, you know? Yes. My arm, that's way too fucking relatable. <laughs> My arm? Yeah. Sorry. Don't be. Got one just like it for a leg. Souvenirs from the last time we saw each other. Again, she's trying to make him feel better, but it's also clear that he's got so much baggage. Right. But yeah, and she also reveals a lot of real food you can only get on the on the black market. Why are they doing like rations since it's a police state? Yes. Okay. And even then, it's not the good stuff. Right, like MREs or whatever. Exactly. K and Casey, breakfast. Wait, what? Casey's still alive too? Nope. His her daughter, Casey Marie Jones, the girl you saw uh, in the last issue. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that little twist. That's awesome. Yep. Yep, we kind of already met. You were a lot less conscious and a lot more bloody at the time. Yeah. <laughs> just gives him five, even though he's like, uh. Oh, Again, just look at how strong he is. Casey? Yep, that's me. And you're supposed to be the funny one, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, then here, there's Hiroto just doing some sparring. Kill me, cowards, or I will have you killed. <laughs> so, in other words, yeah, he just, he's insane. Oh, my goodness. I think we figured that out, at least already. He was insane and freaking uh, an asshole. Exactly. I mean, his mother was a bitch, let's be honest. But at the same right. time, but at the same time, though, even that, she doesn't deserve to be kept in a coma just because he has mommy issues. Why does he have a skull? Like, uh, well, okay. Oh, that. Oh, that was the pre that was the predecessor, the guy who basically he had ordered to um to try and deal with the turtles, uh, and it was Mikey Captain Ikusua. That's what a name you heard in the first issue. That's his price for failure. Yeah. Well, alrighty then. Mm-hmm. But yeah, tr we find out there's a few other people down below in the resistance. Um. But, base, but April's insistent, like, not until he, clean, he gets rested. And, well, basically, well, well, this eventually leads to is Mikey's going to be teaching Casey how to fight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, of course, Mikey doesn't want to, but, you know, it's like, I understand why. You know, the honor of it. Did you say anything to your mom? No, no nothing. So, basically, in other words, April does not know that he tried to commit seppuku. Ah, Okay. Yeah, but um, but yeah, she's been reading over the Splin uh, Splinter's journal, and but uh -huh. has of instructions, martial arts, uh -huh, style, that's cool techniques, everything in there. But yeah, did she ask where have you been after all this bad stuff that handled uh, that happened? Too much to handle. 
And we get some Kevin Eastman artwork. It's so freaking good. But yeah, he basically climbed up in the mountains and he doesn't remember exactly what happened in between. We get that filled in later, but he started meditating. And as he did, it's when he realized that he was getting bigger. Oh, okay. So he was trying to... Now, basically, at first, he had a bit of a death wish. But if everyone realized, no, I can't die. Wait, why can't he die? Because he or needs to mean... avenge his family. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you meant, like, he physically can't. No, oh, no, no, no. But he basically realized, I'm the last of my clan, masterless, a ronin, and it was up to me to restore our family's honor. Aww. Dang, Kevin Eastman's art is so detailed and so good. It is. So detailed, yet so simplistic, too. Yeah, at the same time. yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, of course, like, to complete my master's uh, mission, kill the last Oroku. In this last page, what's it mean? No peace. Means I still got work to do. Uh-huh. But he doesn't want to, like, no. Appreciate the offer, but I won't be responsible for anyone else getting killed because of me. Well, too bad, because I wasn't asking. You wouldn't even be standing here if it wasn't for us. We got trouble coming now that you stirred things up. So if you don't want to help t- uh, taking out H- Hiroto, then stand in line. <laughs> What's so funny? Just trying to decide if you're more like your dad or your mom. <laughs> Aww, and as she's cute. opening it up, this is the um, Fugatoid, a robot. Oh, I mean, and, that, heard of and it. that's, oh, Superman, uh, that's a Superman reference. I love it with Casey's mask. That's awesome. On Leo's sword. I love it. Yep. As we get into this issue, and we have another flashback again. Um, Oroku Hirodo, do you swear now until death your fealty to the Foot Clan? So this is Hirodo joining the Foot Clan. Gotcha. It's been 10 years since my beloved mother and our former master Roku uh, and former master Roku Karai was critically injured in her battle with the mutants of the Hamato clan. She has and has remained comatose since that fateful day, unable to lead and lead our forces in the resulting bloody and costly war. As was my destiny, I studied and trained for this moment when by birthright, I could continue to build upon her and my grandfather's honorable legacy. So in other words, he's joining up there and he's coming up like he's a just as noble when we know he's not. Right, exactly. So and yep, there he is again. Which is, he goes uh, all got a war with it. Yep, definitely. I want this broadcast in every part of the city at once. No exceptions. Denizens of New York, my people, my city. For nearly two decades, I have kept you safe, protected, allowed you to prosper at will. My will, I alone decide your fate. So hear me now, heed what I have to say. There was a monster at our midst. This creature, this assassin, cowardly attacked this sacred ground with one terroristic mission in mind, to tear down all that I have built and to kill me. This treasonous affront to, is unacceptable, unfathomable, unforgivable. Any crime against me is punishable by death. No stone will be left unturned until this beast is captured, and I will personally execute final justice. Tonight, until further notice, the entire city will be under martial law. Jesus Christ, psycho. Yep, and all those poor people getting hosed and everything, getting corralled. Uh, Goodness gracious. Obey my soldiers, return to your homes, await my orders, and know this. Anyone foolish enough to harbor this terrorist terrorist insurgent will not suffer its fate. No, yours will be far worse. Your master has spoken. Freaking tyrant. He is. So, of course, we say, gotta admit, Casey Marie's pretty damn impressive. Book smart and street smart. Tough, too. But she's crazy if she thinks she's going to help and fight Hiroto. Oh, ain't that right, Mike? Uh, yeah, right. She's just a child. <laughs> 16 and already tangling with the Foot Clan? Sound familiar? Oh, she's only 16. Yep. And she looks it. Yeah, she does look pretty young, but I like her outfit. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I love it. Like, I'm talking to yourself in the dark. 
No, uh, uh, no, it's not. And it takes way more than sneak up on someone to make you one. Sorry, wasn't trying to be sneaky. The door was open and you seemed... Never mind. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I guess she just keeps on pushing to be taught and he keeps on refusing. Come on, yeah. Cave. We know it's coming. We know. <laughs> you know yeah, all that's left of him anyway. Holy crap. You gotta stop doing this to me. Sorry, I was hoping to ease you back into everything, but things are about to get crazy around here. About to. I think we I basically have to do some more catching up as we explain. Yeah, there's, again, flashback with Fugitoid. They're working on more of the um, fighting back against the turtle, the, um, the foot. And this ah. is after Raph's death. Gotcha. But as you can see, Splinter is alive still. And yeah, there's Baxter Stockman. Now, yeah, him uh, still, you know, remember the scientist guy. Now, yes. this is probably more the comics where he makes himself a cyborg. He doesn't become a fly. Wait, wasn't he in the ones that we went over? Bat Batman okay. TMNT where he did become a fly, yes. Okay, I do remember him. Yeah, and um, yeah, they're just sneaking around, getting attacked. And, yeah, they're just trying to make their way through because Baxter has all this type of technology. So, of course, that makes it even more dangerous. Right. Yep, there's Casey. They're fighting their way through and everything, just trying to get their way there. And um, they realize more more are coming. Eventually, it leads to um, Casey and then Leo fighting it out as things are going kablooey. Um oh my goodness. Baxter wants the fugitoid. And, well, this is clearly their last fight. That KC and Leo go down together. Oh, shit. Yep. Aw, Casey's awesome, too. That sucks. Yeah, but he, they went out so the others could get out. Aww. Yeah, so uh, Kate, now, now his daughter is running around trying to get everyone out of there. Because why? Well, they found her about the martial law. Ah, uh, Okay. So it's trying to get anyone that can into the safety areas. Uh, yep. A again, she's going around trying to using the sewers to try and get out and help whoever she can. Well, that's uh, freaking run. Awesome. I'll handle this, but you'll be kale. Nah, I ain't the one <laughs> to worry about. Oh, but then more. I, I don't got time for this crap. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're still like, ow. Seriously, just just hurry up. I hate needles. Then stop squirming. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, five years old? I, it's barely any blood. I need to see what your advanced mutation is doing to your body. But I can and I can get you a lollipop when I'm done if that helps. Oh my Whatever. gosh. Just hurry it up. Um, but yeah, explain about the explosion that happened. Mm -hmm. um, the how? How'd I end up here? Didn't help happen overnight, that's for sure. After the smoke cleared, a rescue team pulled me out of the rubble. More Eastman artwork, and she found out she was pregnant and lost her uh, her husband, her friends, her oh, home. Oh, shit. So she found out she was pregnant when Casey died. Yep. Aw, that's sad as fuck. And I love how she says this. When, I, when they finally discharged me, I got a shiny new arm and leg and a shiny new baby to go along with them. Oh, my goodness. Yep. But yeah, so she just went down to the sewers and stayed at the old where the turtles lived. And uh. yeah, of course, like, you know, Casey Marie told me about the training you did in Asia and Europe, but she didn't say how the hell you got all the way over there in a fog. Mostly last thing I remember clearly was trying to get you and the Fugitoy to safety, except the damn explosion knocked me halfway across the neighborhood. Now. I should point out Splinter and Donnie are still alive. Okay. All right. And um, yeah, he flew off. And basically, April says she knows how to beat Her Hiroto. And yeah, then you need to show us right now, Mom, because all hell's breaking loose in Rock Bottom. Oh, she's got a team. Yep. Well, that's the resistance. Yeah. But yeah, I look at them down there. Tiny little insects beg to be crushed oblivious to the giant who towers over them. To me, I am the one. I am the one they owe their entire pathetic existence to. I am the one who gives them all they need. And I am the one who could crush them without a second thought. And yet, 
They act like children. Spoiled and dialed children. Pot meat kettle. I know. I was going to say a little lack of self-awareness there. Yep. The fools forget who rules all here. Boy, God complex. Mm-hmm. I am their master. I alone. All alone. You left me, mother. Left me in charge of an empire. And before that, as a small boy, your only son. Why? Why? Because Mommy you issues. knew what, what I could do, what I was capable of, mother. And you, Orokusaki, grandfather, shredder, you see me now, don't you? I am all you ins- aspire to be and more. Your heir, you're better. Oh, brother. Goodness gracious, he's a little bit of a narcissist. And at a death wish, clearly. I am a <laughs> god, immortal. My angels will not allow it. Because, yeah, he fell, but then robots grab him. Oh, oh you're my crazy. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so they're trying to, you know, basically coming up with this big plan, which is have the use Fugatoid to go and take out Baxter Stockman's tech. Without the tech, that's going to leave um, Hiroto completely open. Gotcha, and, okay. Yep. Holy, I've been prepping for a long time, Mikey, getting ready for the one last fight for our freedom. I knew it was eventually coming, waiting for the fight, right moment when we could strike most effectively. I've been planning, and I've been building. Oh, I think shit. Johnny would, would approve, don't you? Yeah, what is it? Just a little something to even the odds. It's the turtle van, but amped up like it's the bat tank. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. You can see they're going by a little bit quicker after that first one. Oh, yeah. Um, now, April, this is Mike. You in position? Mike? Zzz, April, come in. Zzz, damn it. Told you guys this was a bad idea. <laughs> so, basically, we're jumping and, you know, right in the middle of the action. But we... Now, Casey... Yes, Sensei. Wait, who's that girl? Is that Casey? That's Casey. Where's her hair? I think she cut it before going in. Ah, okay. Yep, and there, there's Baxter. Oh my goodness. Yep, not much left of him. No. So I told you to stay put. You did. I didn't. Terrible discipline. Excellent initiative. Don't do it again. Understood? Yes, Sensei. <laughs> Oh, no, so, yeah, she already had trimmed it. I'm learning. Like, her technique's decent, but she's developed some bad habits. Be interesting to see what she could do with 10 years of real training. Yeah, except we don't got 10 years. Wonder why she cut her hair. Don't know about her hair, Don, but if she's going to be fighting regardless, it's time to find out what she's willing to learn. Well, besides getting your cardio in, that was just about useless. Well, Uh, good to hear you come in, sneaky ninja. Remember? You ever fight anyone skilled with that garbage? Hey, I got skill. Never had some ninja master to show me nothing, I, and I still kick ass all over this city. Okay, show me. Hit, hit me as hard as you can. Now. Wait. What? Figure. <laughs> Nothing but a child pretending to be a warrior. Child? There. Ah, good thing you're, you, you yelpers, or you might have completely caught me off guard. <laughs> Dodge this. Yawn. Your legs are weak, slow, but not as slow as your fist, which allowed me all the time in the world to do that. I wouldn't get up if I were you. Yeah, right. Dang. You were warned. And looks like we have a, pl- a plan this time. Okay? White belt quality kick. Okay, maybe yellow belt. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. At least nice he finally is training her. Yep, nice push. Got anything to back it up? I'll show you. Show me what? How to miss your opponent again? Back to square one. Boo! That move only works in the movies or on people without trading. This is nicer. You're wasting energy, running on fumes. Very tired. And you're done. Never. Please feel free to take this time to think about how you could have done all that differently. Ugh! Take it easy on the bricks. They're pretty old. You would know. What was that? Okay, okay, I give. That's not the point, to give up. Even the greatest of warriors can't punch their way out of every confrontation. Sometimes it pays to be subtle, fluid, elusive, avoiding strikes rather than delivering them. Let your enemy wear themselves out. That's why you remain in control. Got it, you made your point. Are we done here? Yeah, I guess. 
wait, no, that's not what I'm saying or trying to say. Look, the point is, I don't know you and you don't know me, but you're practically family and, and you need a teacher. You have skills, but a lot to learn, too much to learn. And I might be willing to teach you, but it's my way or the highway. No back talk, no attitude. I tell you what to do and you do it. Got it? Like, seriously, no bull? You'll teach me like, like a real teacher? It's sensei. Right, a sensei. Okay, right, good. Well, uh, we'll start first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> that's cute. Yep. Um, now get a haircut. Ha, haircut, good one. Get a haircut, seriously? I'm so <laughs> Splinter would be very proud of you, Sensei. Uh Uh-huh, April caught him being nice. Yep. (laughs) But yeah, basically trying, he's he's still doubting himself, but she's trying to tell him, no, this is what Splinter would have wanted. Yeah. But yeah, we find out after he had left, he made his way to Japan and then climbed his way up to the mountains. I told him who I was, Michelangelo, son of Master Splinter of Clan Amato. They just grunted and pointed towards the village. The village turned out to be really massive compound. One of the elders was there waiting for me. I quickly told him who I was and why I was there. He just stared at me with sad eyes for what seemed like forever before he finally spoke. I am Master Sinchiro of Clan Hamato. Please follow me. I will speak further inside. Please, where are my father and my brother? Basically, that's where Donnie and um, Splinter had gone to. Ah, there- okay. And, yeah, we find out that while they were up there, Hiroto came to them. In a very similar moment to what happened with um, Karai, it was a trap. And, unfortunately, Splinter decided to, um, um, he let his bloodlust get the better of him. Oh, shit. If you choose not to stand aside and allow me access to your master, I will cut my own pass. These guys are seriously lacking discipline, but not numbers. So, yeah, fighting their way through there. And, yeah, once he sees Hiroto, oh, he goes in and throws his sword. Actually gets Hiroto, Hiroto, but unfortunately, though, they got um, shot with arrows. Oh, crap. And they they got killed. But they, they this is what drove... Hiroto to being more insane was getting the um the sword in. Oh, okay. It's I uh, I know we could not save them, Michelangelo. I am truly sorry, and so I had my answer. I came seeking the last of my family, only to find that what was left to, into me were ashes, my brother's blood stained bow staff, and my father's journal. I was too late, and now I was alone. Master Centura offered to let me stay there with the clan. But seeing all the brave warriors surrounding me only reminded me of everything I lost. It was too much to handle. So I respectfully declined the kind invitation, turned towards the mountains, and I just started walking. So, yeah. And, um... gracious. Yeah, but of course, like, when were you going to tell me about Casey's extra abilities, April? Why would you keep that away from me? I wasn't keeping it away, not exactly... You didn't inject her, did you? Hell no! Oh, and basically we, she finds out being exposed and around the you know uh, the um the turtles actually yeah. affected her gene and her and both of her parents affected her. There were subtle bits of the mutagen in her and it oh. passed on to Casey. So what's her extra abilities? Uh just a bit more increased um you know um her strength and speed and she has a slight healing ability. Not a major one, but a slight one. Right. All of which will increase as she ages, just like um, Mikey. Aha, uh-huh, that's cool. And she's aware she's different, but she doesn't know everything. Gotcha. But I like that. It's not a case, like, no way would April inject her, but having it be just by being around them, being in constant contact with them. I mean, that yeah. would obviously get into, under the skin, and then once that go, get you know, inside of them. Yep, that's a, I like that. It's that whole notion of the subtleness. Not enough to make it... Mm-hmm. Make it in a what way, kind of like what happened to Mary Jane in that Spider-Man reign, except that was more, uh, you know, that was the one where she died from his radioactive. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So similar, but different, obviously. 
Gotcha. But um, but yeah, they have a plan, everything, so they start finding their way in there. Um, and yeah, just a big fight, and uh, and all that. And the whole point of this is to try and get you know Fugitoid um in there. And once they do that, well, they're plowing through, taking out all the mousers, and then with Fugitoid's head in there, it starts causing an overload. And I'll finish you all momentarily, but not until I did secure my prize. You shall not pass. What did you say? <laughs> you shall not pass. And blows up, taking Baxter and everything with it. The power, everything's powering down. Baxter's oh, no. down. The nanobite swarm um, um, is um, is now in con- is in control now. I'm getting where it's happening all over the compound, and it's starting to affect the city. Everything's shutting down, even the foot cops. So now everyone's joining in. Oh, shit. Basically, everyone's ready for the fight, and we lead into the final um, great cover. That's so good. Is that uh, Eastman? Yep, that's Eastman. Yeah, we have all these other variant covers. Wow, they they did so many variants. Yep, we skipped over on the other ones, but yeah, so many. But yeah, here's the final issue. Oh, shit. It's about to go down. It is. But yeah, they keep on talking to him. They're like, Rep's right. You're wasting time, Mikey. Why haven't you pressed the attack? You guys caught him completely off guard. You've got the advantage. Tell me something I don't know. I know why you're just sitting in this room. You're the sole survivor. The last of us. That's a heavy burden. Painful, too. Seriously? That's why you're having second thoughts? Ha! I knew you weren't strong enough to handle yeah, that. Huh. Never were. Way to let us all down, Mikey. Go to hell, Raph. I wish I could bring you back just so I could kill you myself. Now you know damn well what I gotta do. Finish this. End this insanity. After all this time, coming back and finding April alive, Casey Marie and the Rebels, seeing how they're fighting against the foot and that bastard Hirodo, all their sacrifices. If I fail now, more of them are going to die. Maybe all. Nice speech, but I ain't buying it. Something ain't right with you. The only thing that isn't right is that space between your ears, Raph. Yeah, can it, Raph? You're not helping. So what's the attack plan, Mike? I say another full frontal assault, like uh, like on Stockman's compound. That worked out pretty well. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Man, you guys are still, you guys sure like yapping more than you do listening. And I'm getting sick and tired of repeating myself. I want you all to stop talking. Now! <laughs> and they try to get back up. We see him write something in the journal as he leaves. As they're all trying to figure out what to do and all that. Uh, and the power out is causing flooding in the sewer. Oh no, the lair. And of course, Hirodo's losing it. Like, bring me my armor. I'm going to go hunt. I'm going to hunt and kill a mutant. Oh, my so, goodness. Yeah. I think he's been losing it, to be fair. Yeah, he has been. But, yeah, so they help get try to get out of there. Oh, and she punches the wall. Casey Marie Jones, stop it. You'll hurt yourself. Will I? Will I really, Mom? I know I'm different. I've known for a long time. Just like I'm just like them. A mutant. Oh, shit. And, it's, and I, I basically confirms it, explains it all, and um, uh, you, uh, it's their fa- family's destiny, Casey, and Mikey needs to finish it his way. The hell was that? You said it, Mom. They're a part of us and our blood, like family, my family, and I'm in this fight to the end. So in other words, in a w- weird way, she's an indirect um, me- member of the family. Right, exactly. Yes, through the, muta- the mutagen. It's like a second blood, you could almost say. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. look at this. Oh, All shit. Mike's doing. He even takes down and fights this big guy. Hiroko, Hiroko, Hiroto, I'm here. What are you waiting for? That's still not him, by the way. Old school robotics, like a tank with wings. Oh, and there's Karai as Hiroto shows up in his own armor, and kills his mother. Oh my god, fucking psycho. Yep, hold on. Dumb, like, yeah, in truth, I always hated her. She left me as a child and never returned. I only kept her alive out of spite, lost and alone in her coffin while I reconquered, while I thrived. At least she had honor. You ready? Ready? 
well, I, I certainly didn't get all dressed up for no reason. <laughs> in the end. So that's, he is now the new Shredder, fully. I like it. I like the way they did the costume. Yep, liquid metal he can manipulate. Oh, shit. You're first. You first, mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the rest of this issue is just one big fight. She looks like a little Robin. She does, actually. I think that's intentional. Mm-hmm. I mean, given the cover. But, yeah, they're putting up, you know, a good fight. Like, show me a flaw. There. What's uh, what's this? A scratch? And I recently had this polished. No matter. Or maybe not. Now, where were we? The armor's self-repairing. Gonna have to find a workaround. Oh, shit. A weakness. Yep. Well, Casey's ready to go in and still help out however she can. Right. But, uh, yep, he's just, and Mikey's just putting up a good fight, like, a gift from Raphael. Right, you know, stabbed him right with the, um, what's it? Is that your very best mutant? Poking and prodding? Scratching? Me? I will break you. The tower blows up. No, my tower. Impossible! More like perfect tightening. First rule of martial arts. Never take your eyes off your opponent. <laughs> yeah, punk! <laughs> <laughs> and April's up to something. You're on hollow April? ground now, chump. And your fa- fancy armor's busted. This is and one's courtesy of Le- Leonardo. Stabs him with the sword. Fine, I yield. You win. There's no win or lose today. Only an end. You're right. And this is an ending, mutant. Yours. <laughs> Donatello sends his regard. I just love how he's using each of the weapons until finally oh, yeah. he has weapon left. I shall. Hi. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so April's up to something, probably clearing out all the water. Yep, clearing out all the water. Wait, why is she clearing out all the water? It was flooding the sewers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And knocks them right out there. And again, we get another DKR-like moment. Dark Knight Returns moment. Yeah. That looks like shit water. Well, yeah, just like what happened um, against the mutant leader. Yep. Oh my god. But yeah, but like, you're wrong. I'm a god. I am immortal. Zaps Mikey badly as they fall in. Uh, hold on. Ran got to enough pages that I got to exit and redo it again. Hold on. Oh, you're fine. Yep. That was. 212. Oh, we're almost done. We only got a few more pages left. I can do Jeopardy music. Do, do, <laughs> that was all right. I always got do, it. Do, 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 there, we go. there we go. Yep. And he, Hiroto is dead. <laughs> Some god. Ugh. Sensei! Uh, yeah, runs over. You're not leaving. You can't. I, I brought the girl. See? You were going to teach me. You promised. It's not fair. It's... I'm sorry, Casey. It was my duty. Wait, my so he's dying? Yep. For my family. I am your family now. Yes, you, your mom, always. My and my father's journal left it for you. It'll teach you all he knew. But last mission is mine, most, most important of all. He reworked to say no peace. K N O W. Oh, okay. Oh, instead of no and O, he added a K and a W. Casey, oh my God, Casey, are you okay? Oh, Mikey, goodbye, my sweet friend. Aw, that's sad and as fuck. Mikey, wake up already. Jeez, you got to sleep all day or what? Longest nap ever, bro. Hurry up, it finally stopped raining. Yeah, we're heading top dive for some fresh air and training. Come on, we're already behind schedule. It makes it up there and there his brothers, his father, and Casey. Aww. The end. But epilogue. Not too shabby, Casey. And we find out uh, how are the tests looking. Slight improvement, actually. Let, lots more to get done, though. What's new? So, what are we eating? Get what you want, kiddo. I'm not hungry. Wasn't talking to you. Hey there. 
Hurry up and grow already. Uh, I've got so much cool stuff to teach you. <laughs> That's such a good ending. It is. And it leaves it wide open to do any more if they wanted. Oh, that's so good. Well, it's so sad, but I like the ending. I yeah, figured so, one of one of the three were definitely going to die. Yep. So, yeah, what did you think about that for a Dark Knight Returns for the Turtles? Um, I like it. I mean, I liked it for the Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it wasn't bad. It was much better than the others. Like, I like the Batman crossovers, too. But this had a more serious tone. Yep. And I think that's a little bit hard to do when it comes to turtles. Mm -hmm. So they did a good job with that. But I can't. Those are the. I can't see it going anywhere. Like, do they have any plans? They have. They said they have an idea for plans. Nothing concrete. It's more the case of like, if we want to come back. We can do it. And there's still Krang out there. There's still some of the other turtle villains out there. So they could. Okay. But they so, would have to kind of start from scratch with new personalities and new everything exactly. else. New I mean, turtle. that could work too. But you that's getting people invested in those characters, which would be the hard part of it. Exactly. Exactly. And But overall, though, I think it's a great story. That ending, I think, was more for a thing of hope. And the to be continued is more of a case of the adventure is going to continue. Right. Yeah. And I think so, that's really smart. And I and I I did it. It wasn't bad. It's much better than um I expected. Even though I had heard good things, mm -hmm. it's much better than I had expected. It was. I love the Casey twist. The you yeah. know, having the daughter. I really like that. I like the end. Um. Well, when he dies, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. but it kind but, of it doesn't leave it at the death. It leaves it in kind of more of a uh, hopeful tone. Exactly, and Perotto, what a bastard! I don't think that's the right word. I think fucking psychotic is better. You're right. You're right. Because as as Mikey said, at least Karai had honor. Yes, what she did was scummy, but in her eyes, she felt it's it was for the best for the um the Foot Clan. Whereas right. Perotto. Again, complete psychotic bastard, just yeah. and killing his own mom like that. Yeah. Um. Well, preserving her, preserving only to her. kill her, and yeah. then having blaming everything, everything in his life that went wrong on her. Yeah, that the pretty narcissistic there. Yeah, I mean, who knows why she left him? She might have had her reasons. We'll never know. Yeah, exactly. It, he, but he just blamed, you know, his yeah, childhood and his his woes on her instead of taking any accountability which is good for a villain it's good for a villain yeah, definitely you, you want if you this is going to be the final enemy you want no sympathy for him at all oh yeah definitely i mean that was and was you know and it really was karai and for karai had too much sympathy you could still have on so it makes sense to give her a son and have him be the final enemy because you shredder being dead makes sense already but you know if you're gonna have the t other turtles be dead Right, exactly. Yeah, and but yeah, and having each of the different turtles go out, and they all went out in ways that made sense. Raph went out because of his hot headedness. Leo went down, back, you know, being a hero, the leader, and Donnie went down protecting um, Splinter. And Casey, don't forget Casey. And Kate, well, yeah, I was saying, and Casey went down just the same way, being a big defender and everything, and trying to make sure April got out. Yep, I love it. I love that that heroism in him. Yep, and the fact that April. It, her actions and everything made sense. I do recall there were one or two people complaining, saying, oh, why is April being the leader? It's like, because Donnie and Leo aren't there. Right, Mikey's exactly. Never, Mikey's never been the tactician, and April, she's got enough years to learn. Yeah. Yeah, you no, know, I think it makes a lot of sense. And I just love Casey. And again, that's the, my favorite scene has to be the training with Casey. Just how Mikey is just like, nope, you're too slow. You just tell you how much he's learned. I like that they teased her beforehand too, because yeah. her outfit, her what she was wearing, was stand out enough for even me to, you know, ask who that was. So I like that. That's that's probably my favorite part of it. That was a really good way to yeah. get people invested. I she looks great. She does, and she has this eye shadowing thing that we never see again. Good reason. I think. I think again. I think that was done internally, like you said, to make her stand out. Yeah, I think it worked really well because even I wondered who that was, and I 
I had no idea <laughs> that they had a daughter. Yep. And it, and it also having Eastman involved made a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. You, you can't go wrong with Kevin Eastman. Not just his say, writing, but it, I mean, look at the art. Yeah, exactly. And I got to say also that what I like, I, I, I placed this above Batman TMNT3, but barely. Because that one as well was damn good. Was that the Tinian one? All three were Tinian, but the third one in particular, that was the one with the worlds merged. Oh, that one was the best, though. That was, was so good. It was. And had Eastman's artwork as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd put it right below that just because, yeah, I'm a Yeah, well, I said, I said, I said it was, this is right above. Yeah. Said, yeah, yeah. But It's really good. Really, really good. Uh, surprisingly, well, not surprisingly well done because I don't want to take away from the people that wrote it. But Oh, yeah. But I'm just was, not a huge person when it comes to the turtles. So, yeah, I like it. Did, did it tempt you to want to buy your own copy? No, not that tempted. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right. We because, gave it a fair shot. Yep, yep. But all right, though. But hey, though. No, and sometimes these things don't always get people wanting to buy them. But th- there's a hardcover coming out soon. So. Yeah. That's what I seen. I looked it up this morning because I wasn't sure how many issues it was. I thought it was seven for some reason. Yeah. And I did see that there's a hardcover coming out. So it might be something worth investing in the future, you know, when yeah, it goes yeah. on sale. <laughs> Definitely. Or do it on Amazon. There we go. But uh, yeah, though, I mean, that's that's pretty much all else I've got to say about this. Great send off for the turtles and can't think of anything better. Yeah, definitely. I think it's really good. I think oh, even I heard a lot of hype when it came out, so <laughs> that's awesome. Like, for me to enjoy it, that's pretty fucking good. Yep, and you just enjoyed it from the summary. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me in this one, Tristan. Thank you, everyone else, for watching, and we'll see you on the next lesson. Bye, guys. Take care.